Are you ready to seamlessly integrate the power of Smartsheet into Confluence pages? Say goodbye to toggling between both platforms and hello to a new level of collaboration. In this video, I will show you how to connect Smartsheet and Confluence in the blink of an eye, providing your teams with a collaborative environment to seamlessly plan, track, automate, and manage work. Hi, my name is Björn. I'm co-CEO at Resolution and welcome to this tutorial video on how to supercharge your confluence with Smartsheet data. Connecting Smartsheet with Confluence can have a lot of benefits, especially if you are looking to enhance collaboration, streamline information sharing, and create seamless workflow between two platforms. Here are some of the benefits of embedding Smartsheet tables in Confluence pages. Centralized information. By embedding Smartsheet tables in Confluence, you can centralize project-related information, tasks, and data in one place. This makes it easier for team members to access and interact with data without having to switch between different platforms or having to duplicate content on both platforms, avoiding discrepancy by human errors. Real-time updates. Any changes made in the Smartsheet table will be reflected in real-time within Confluence and vice versa. This ensures that everyone has access to the most up-to-date information, reduce the risk of outdated data. Collaboration. Confluence is a collaborative platform and embedding Smartsheet tables enhance this collaboration. Team members can comment on the embedded tables, discuss tasks, and make decisions without leaving the Confluence page. Context. You can provide additional context by embedding Smartsheet tables alongside relevant Confluence content, such as reports, documentations, and discussions. This helps team members to understand the data in the context of larger projects and aids with the analysis and decision-making. Now join me while I show you how to start embedding Smartsheet data into Confluence. Have fun. But before connecting both platforms, keep in mind that you will need the following. Access to your Confluence Cloud instance, Smartsheet account, and a trial license of Smartsheet for Confluence, our app by resolution. Let's start. To connect your Smartsheet account, with Confluence, you must go to a Confluence page and click on Edit. From here, open a macro via the slash menu or the macro menu. Look up for the Smartsheet macro and open it. Then, click on the Login button. After that, click on Connect to Smartsheet. Now, log in to Smartsheet with your Smartsheet credentials. Finally, after granting the read and edit scopes, I'm redirected back to the Confluence page. I have successfully connected my Smartsheet account with Confluence. Now it's time to start embedding Smartsheet tables and sharing them with the rest of my team. There are two ways to embed Smartsheet tables into Confluence. Via a publish URL link or by selecting a table from your connected account. Let me start with the first option. To embed a table via publish URL link, you need to go to Smartsheet and open the table you would like to embed. Let's say I want to share the one called Project 1. After opening it, I go to Publish. Here I can see all the sharing permission options. For this case, I will select Read Only Full as I want my team to be able to view the table, but not edit anything in it. Copy the link and go back to Confluence. In Confluence, you can either simple paste the link and our app will immediately recognize the URL and embed the table. Or 
If you want to customize the height and the width of the iframe, open the Smartsheet macro, paste the link in the URL field, and adjust it according to your needs. That was really easy. This method is great if you don't want to connect your account with Confluence or in case you want to embed a table you are not the owner of or someone shared a published link with you. But what about the other method? Well, that one is even simpler. Let's go back to Confluence so I can show it to you. To embed a sheet from your account, let's open the Smartsheet macro. Here, if you have already connected your account, you should see the Smartsheet Gallery dropdown. Now simple scroll down until you find the desired table and click to select it. After that you will see the type of URL link options will appear. Select the option that best fits to your needs. I will talk more about them later in the video. But for the moment I will choose Edit. On the right side of the macro you will see a preview of the embed. If I change the table embed form or width or height, it will also change. Finally, click on Insert and publish your Confluence page. As you can see, using the gallery dropdown is very simple and it gives you the full control of your tables without the need to move between Smartsheet and Confluence. And this is saving a lot of time. One thing to note is that with tables shared with you via Smartsheet, our app reads the sharing permissions granted to you and will enable or disable the URL types to which you have permission to embed the table. So for example, this table was shared with me, but as you can see, I don't have sharing permissions. Therefore, if I go to Confluence and try to embed it, both Smartsheet tables embedding options will be disabled allowing me only to embed it with our read-only integral table. Given the fact that I already started talking about the integral table, it makes only sense that I jump now to explain you all the table types you can embed based on permissions. When embedding via dropdown, you will have three table options. Read-only Smartsheet table, Edit Smartsheet table, and read-only integral table. The read-only Smartsheet table is a sheet with a whole Smartsheet look and feel that allows you to see the table, the comments and the attachments in the sheet. You can also change the Smartsheet view, create filters and sort rows, but you cannot edit the table or save any changes. On the other hand, the edit Smartsheet table allows you the same as a read-only table but you can also edit the data and save any changes. It is advised to embed tables with edit scopes in restricted Confluence pages or instances with few users, so you have more control over who is editing the embedded table. Finally, we have the integral table. Instead of embedding Smartsheet read-only HTML tables, which don't allow you to do anything, we built a read-only custom table that allows you to apply filters, sort the columns, search for specific data. We consider this table as a very useful one when you don't want to allow your team to edit the table or see the comments and attachments in it. But they can still interact with the data and search for a specific information without the need to scroll all around the table, saving a lot of time when you share big data sets. Now you are all set and ready to start embedding your Smartsheet tables into Confluence, helping your teams plan, track and manage projects in real time from Confluence. But before finishing, I have a last hack for you that might come in handy after you start embed sheets in your instance. I want to show you the gallery page. To access it, you just need to find the app logo in the left menu of your Confluence page. The gallery page gives you an overview of all pages containing Smartsheet tables, allowing easy access to your boards and a perfect way to manage your content. And that's it for today. 
You now know how to supercharge your Confluence pages with Smartsheet data while keeping all your workflow in a single platform. If you have any doubt, please don't hesitate to contact our support team at the link in the video description. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, share it with anyone you believe might find it useful. And if you try the app, please send us your suggestions. We will happily pursue your request and keep improving the app. Thank you very much for watching.